Welcome to the introduction session of Tribology. Tribology is derived from the Greek word tribos. Meaning of tribos is rubbing. So the literal meaning of the tribology is the science of rubbing. The main components of tribology are friction, wear, and lubrication. For example, C, carbon graphite C is employed to avoid the leakage of steam from rotary joints of paper industry. Failure of this component occurs due to adhesive wear. Cam. Cams are used to transform rotary motion into reciprocating motion. These components are subjected to jerks in sliding distance, which leads to form some pits on the cam surface. Journal bearings. In crude engine, journal bearing is worn out due to foreign particles. When aluminum bearing is subjected to heavy load, shaft surface will run over bearing inner surface. Let us understand how the tribology has evolved. Historical background of tribology. The invention of wheels helped vehicles to move along by transferring and reducing the friction. The wheel was probably invented around 8000 BC in Asia. During prehistoric epoch before 3500 BC, the concept of using friction to start a fire by rubbing two pieces of wood together was used. This is one of the most primitive ways of producing fire via friction. The period of early civilization post 3500 BC saw many advances in the field of tribology including stone sockets, lubricants to reduce friction and different surface materials to reduce wear. Possible lubricants used were water, mud, and rendered fat from sheep and cows. Specimens of Egyptian chariots around 1400 BC are found which showed that Egyptians used animal fats to lubricate chariot axles. During the times of Greeks and Romans, Approximately 900 BC to 400 AD, advancements in machine elements, lubrication and theories regarding friction and wear were all found. These advancements included Archimedes gear and roller bearings on Roman ships for rotating platforms. Leonardo da Vinci was one of the first scholars to study the friction systematically. His work on friction originated in studies of rotational resistance of axles and mechanics of screw threads. Developments in the period prior to the first industrial revolution was mainly confined to Britain as Britain did not allow the export of machinery skilled workers or manufacturing techniques as they were aware of their superiority in these areas. The revolution brought about much advancement in the area of bearings, gears, lubricant application and theories regarding friction and wear. Christian Huygens invented the pendulum clock and patented the pocket watch while Robert Hooke invented the universal joint. The scientists like Robert Hooke, Isaac Newton, and Leonard Euler advanced the theory of friction and viscosity.
The monumental work done by Sir Isaac Newton in his Principia from 1687 laid down the foundations of viscosity and was able to bring about the concept of Newtonian and non-Newtonian fluids. John Tipulos Desiderius became the first person to propose the adhesion concept of friction. He stated that the friction is fundamentally caused by the force it takes to overcome adhesive forces or to break down adhesion. French physicist Guillaume Amontons rediscovered the rules of friction after he studied dry sliding between two flat surfaces. Charles Augustine Coulomb proposed that the frictional resistance of a rolling wheel or cylinder is proportional to the load and inversely proportional to the radius of the wheel. The years of 1850 to 1925 saw amazing improvements in machine elements including the electromotor locomotives and axle gear drive for the automobiles. Vegetables and animal oil lubricants were replaced with the distilled and defined lubricants such as compressor oils and refined cylinder oils. Later in 19 100. Philip Bowden and David Tabo used a physical explanation for the law of friction. They determined that the true area of contact is a very small percentage of apparent contact area, which are called as asperities. The term tribology was mentioned for the first time in 1966 in the Jost report a study commissioned by British government to investigate damage from wear. In 1967, a Committee of Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, OECD, formally defined tribology as the science and technology of interacting surfaces in relative motion and of related subjects and practices. And it is an engineering field that deals with friction where and lubrication.